What's up? This is James Patrick from Slam Academy, and I want to show you all a workflow involving creating your own original sample pack from scratch. Um, there's, it's easy to take a bunch of samples and put them into a folder. You know, you can make a places directory in Ableton Live directed to your samples and your user library and start dragging sounds up in there and creating folders, throw some kick drums or whatever in there. That's fine. But what I want to show you is how to actually create some of your own unique original content and a workflow that's going to be really effective for uh, making lots of cool electronic original sounds like zaps and bleeps and cool elements. So what I did here is I just took a synthesizer that I really like and I just cranked it up a little bit. This is the Madrona Labs Alto and I made a little kind of droning patch and put a couple of effects on it <clears throat> just to get a little bit of a sustaining kind of growl thing happening. So this is pretty cool, got some modulation from phaser and a filter happening. Now I'm just going to resample this to a new track, just to stream it. Just let that thing roll for a little bit. We'll play around in here. for fun. We'll call that our sample. Cool, right? So now we've got a nice big stream of synthesizer stuff and the workflow looks like this. Create a new MIDI track, drop this into the device window by hitting shift tab of a MIDI track and that throws it right into a simpler. Now what I really like to do is then create another audio track and record from the simpler device you just created. This is another move of resampling now, but this is going to be even more fun because we're going to get to kind of do a little fishing. I like to call this my fish tank. So this is all my cool material. Um, and now I can just start blasting sounds out of this thing. <laughs> These are all cool elements. So now what I'll decide in advance is how long of a sound am I trying to make? Let's pull our sustain all the way down and that'll make our decay time our overall envelope for our zap or our blast or whatever we're trying to make. Let's say we're making around a three second long sound. So I'll put this around three seconds. Now I'll hit middle C. And now I can surf around here Let's actually make it a little bit shorter than that, maybe two and a half. Do a little, just a little zappy deal. So these are all good to go. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to, I could punch in a C note and then maybe just have that happen once every couple bars. Maybe we'll do one bar. Now every time I move this around, I'm going to get a new zap. What I'd probably do, maybe sustain my note a little longer or else put my envelope into trigger mode. It's a cool little trick, but here I just got a nice little kind of one shot. That's pretty solid with no real effects or anything on it. I think what I might do is just do a kind of standard little bit of engineering on the sound first, a little bit of EQ and maybe a limiter. I love this soft clip limiter from the glue where I can just pump stuff up and here I'm cutting out useless low end below 30 hertz or so. This is just going to help me be a little louder sounding and I can keep an eye on my meters till I'm nice and loud and never hitting this little clip light. I might even quick make this a rack. Call this a sound design mastering. Well look what I'm doing now. Let's do some recording. Here we go. Record. So now I can see my sample coming in, and all I need to do now is move this around. If I was using the Ableton sampler, I could use the LFO and modulate my sample start position, or I could modulate my loop position as well if I was looping it. That's all sampler functions, but for now I'm just having fun surfing around. These are all cool. And any one of these is going to be potentially legit 
in my pack full of zaps and blasts. Let's quickly uh, leave this here as the original and rename it. And then we'll hit duplicate and we'll call these zap, zaps, right? And so now I can start chopping these up. There's a variety of ways to do this. The method I was going to mention is command L and then right click and crop sample. That'll create a brand new one. That's just a singular zap. Otherwise, uh, it might be worthwhile to just explore some of Ableton's fancy algorithmic slicing functions. Uh, I'll show you two right now. One is in the simpler, which is fun for just quick chopping. Drop, do that same method of creating a MIDI track by hitting shift command T and then shift tab and dropping it down in here. And now we're gonna put it into slicing mode. Now we get a different slice on each note. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, maybe even more exciting method is to right click and slice it to a new MIDI track. Let's go ahead and go with your built-in and I could go with transients. I think I'm just gonna go with uh, beats. And the bar is here, pardon me. So I'll set it to bars and now I'll get a chop on every bar. <clears throat> and now I've got a drum rack full of sounds. And the neat thing is each of these is in their own simpler. <laughs> so now I'm really building my own elements. Um, once everything's all completely good and done, the final step here is I'd go back to my user library and I'd go to my samples folder. And I'd make a folder up in here. Maybe we'll call and make a new one by hitting right, right click and we'll call this uh, Alto Zaps Short. Now I've got a bunch of short zaps from that Alto synth in here and I can start either grabbing entire simpler instruments. I could even crop it down first right inside of the sampler. Now I have the singular one shot and this will now be a high res rendered file. I could even normalize it inside of the device if I wanted to. Really fun. So let's go ahead and drop our first sample into our Alto Zaps folder. Rename it. Command tab there. I drop it in. And now I'm going to control click here and call this Alto Zap 1. Alto Zap Short 1. A1. Yeah, 110 hertz. Cool. All right, well, uh, make me a sample pack. When you get it all dialed in, show it in your finder, zip it together, and send it to me. I'd love to see what you're making out there, world. All right, all are at us at Slam Academy. I'm JP at slamacademy.com. Peace. This is Slam Academy. We're a diverse family of working musicians with one important common bond, a deep love for the creative process of making music. I hate every preset I've ever listened to. I just want to like make all my own sounds. You have to have your own sound, otherwise you're not going to stick out. United by our passion for creating, the Slam family exists to educate and support musicians of any age, any level, and in any genre. I had been more to creating electronic music. Once I stepped into sound design, I was like, this is electronic music. This is like what I envisioned it being like. Our community lives on and offline with live stream group classes, as well as in-person programs in Minneapolis. Our instructors meet you where you are and work to accelerate your musical journey to where you want to be. It was like frustrating in college being with all the music majors, you know, you had all these classical musicians and I'm like over here making beats and I come here and I feel like these last nine months I've learned more, way more for what I need to be doing. With detailed courses in DJing, music production, recording, sound design and more, Slam Academy is ready to show you what it takes to be an industry professional. I was pleasantly surprised with how much I really could take away after only 12 sessions. I finished up and I am walking out with exactly the tools that I need to finish projects. We want you to become a part of the Slam Academy family. Check us out online at slamacademy.com or at our facility in Northeast Minneapolis.